another video so new intro um, I'm editing on a new tablet I'm uh, feeling positive that things are gonna get nicer so this is the gorgeous Courtney she has amazing nail beds that's two in the last two days who have had lovely long nail beds so we have done her a brand new set and I have prepped um, applied um, tips from Tracy Lou. Um, so these are the tapered square tips. Shape them all in and I'm now dehydrating as I go and applying that thin clear base on each of those nails. So I did, um, I've done like three really bright sets in the last couple of days. So I'm really pleased about that. It's quite nice to do something a bit different. So Courtney came today and she wanted yellow. So yellow we gave her. So I have used lemon fizz from cjp and i have also used a glitter from the glitter fairy um, i think it came in my march vip subscription pack um, absolutely gorgeous so um nice simple set nothing too difficult on this one um, but just thought i would try out the new the new tablet see if it's easier to edit because editing on a phone is not simple um, I've also got a lot more storage on this one, so I can upload to the cloud and everything now, which is good. So we are doing that clear base first, as I always do, keeping my brush nice and clean. Um, I have left this in real time today because it is just application. I haven't left filing or anything in, but I have left a video and a picture at the end. Um, any feedback, please feel free. I'm really pleased with how these came out. Um, I've previously only done infills on Courtney. Um, today we removed the last of the awful acrylic. Um, not too bad to remove, to be honest. It wasn't one of the worst ones I've ever had. So this is the first time I've done her nails from scratch. Didn't quite realize how long her nail beds were until I saw them. Anyway. Doing the ring finger first because I want to get the glitter on and done. So I am placing a small bead at that cuticle area just to give us some background colour. So I don't need a lot, just need to have a little bit of colour just in case we get any spaces in that, in that um, glitter. So very nice um, nail tips to work with from Tracy Lou. Do you like these ones? So I've left it in real time just because you guys seem to like those longer videos. So um, I didn't want to bore you with another prep or another filing video so I thought I would just leave in the pretty bit. So picking up that um, glitter with a small bead of acrylic. Now when I mean a small bead I mean literally a tiny bit. So smaller even than the clear bead that I put on as a base. You know literally you just need enough to give you movement to get that glitter on that nail. And I do mean that you need to place your glitter, you don't just whack it on. So um, get your bead on there, I push it around, get those smaller bits onto the edges, get the larger pieces into the middle. Make sure that you've got no spaces because there's nothing worse than doing all this, capping it and then having a gap. Um, same reason that I leave this to dry, that little bit of acrylic will dry, it will set that glitter in place and it means you won't pull all of the glitter down off the nail when you cap. So once I'm happy with that. So the rest of the fingers are done in Lemon Fizz from CJP. Um, products I'm using today, of course, are CJP, um, but this glitter is the Glitter Fairy, is a lovely one. Um, I have just got my um, gel polish sand, which now have my pots of glitter on. Um, I'll have to show you at some point. Um, I, was, I was running out of room and my glitter fairy ones were in a folder and they were getting sadly neglected. So um, I've, put, I've been potting them all up and I've got a nice little 
stand full of glitter so I need another one already um, so I'm getting organized it's all good so getting that bead on at the cuticle getting that as neat as possible um, I you know I'd much rather work in smaller beads and build the color up than um, battle with a big bead especially when I'm using a color I haven't used for a while um, first finger on every hand is always pants don't know why it's just me the rest of the fingers get better the other hand is even better but I can't film from that side so you're stuck with the bad hand I'm afraid so um, as always with um, acrylic colors you know some of them are easier to work with than others this one isn't actually too bad um, I just built the color up until I was happy um, and then capped in clear as I was going and then came back and capped the glitter finger at the end So really pleased with how these turned out. I sort of realised today how lucky I am to have some clients with nice long nail beds. Handy to know if I ever want to do a, a, a really nice competition set. You always want someone with nice long nail beds. So things that I've got, things that I've been doing to prepare for Christmas. Um, I ordered a um, Christmas survival kit from CJP um, a litre of Bonima, um 600 odd gram pot of clear acrylic a couple of bottles of top coat I've ordered in glitters I've ordered in um, prep stuff I've made sure I've got enough wax stuff um, I, I'm on the ball I'm on the ball a um, little bit difficult this week with people rescheduling um, a couple counselling last minute which really annoyed me bane of our lives but you know we keep going so um yeah just capping in clear so nice bead of clear acrylic tap tap round that cuticle and then pull the product down but i'm not pulling it all down the nail i'm leaving that bulk in that in that back third where i need it you want the strength down the middle um i will say that courtney has a very nice c curve on her nails um, it'd be quite nice to sculpt her a set, I think, at some point. So that would be quite good. So as you can see, I haven't zoomed in as much as I normally would. So I'm hoping that's going to help the quality of the, uh, the video upload. And at the moment, I have Friday morning completely free. So I've got some stuff to do tomorrow. I um, haven't my hair done, um, but Friday I haven't got to my first client in until about half past three. So I think I'm possibly going to, look at the mess. Um, yeah, I think I'm possibly going to uh, cut down my left hand, and no sorry, my right hand, and um, just tidy that up. And then I may have another go at the 3D French on myself because then I can take it off if it goes wrong but I'm going to do it in gel polish I'm going to stop trying to be clever I'm just going to do it in gel polish so anyway moving on um just work with that color really um you saw me just shake my pot then I don't like it when you get the big dimples in the in the acrylic I like it to be flat so I have to shake it every now and again just to uh just to make sure it's got a nice flat surface um, and you'll notice her little finger keeps poking up because she's trying to look at the colour while I'm working. You know, these clients, they can't wait. And that was half the reason, actually, that I originally planned to do the videos. They, they were, first of all, to um, educate my clients on to why coloured acrylic was different to gel polish, why I do the prep that I do, etc. And um, one of the other reasons was because a lot of my clients spend half their time trying to point their hand up so they can see what I'm doing they find it fascinating so that's why that's how come the YouTube came about um, but they still do it they st they're subscribed they can watch their own videos later but they still try and pull that finger up um, so anyway very nice color to work with this and I love the glitter with it thought it went very well I'm loving the bright sets 
I mean, you can see how pigmented that colour is just from my tissue underneath. So yeah, just building it up, really. It, you know, if it takes me five or six beads, that's fine. The end result is the same. So I just come in and cap in. So you can see, um, putting that bead on, tapping it gently around them sides and then swiping it down the nail. Um, I'm not working quite as wet as I was, so that little practice session helped a lot. So what I do every now and again, if I'm starting to struggle with, you know, a change in the weather, yeah, just sit for half an hour with a sheet I've got a laminated sheet of paper that I got on a training course and literally just practice picking up your beads until you've got a bead that isn't too dry isn't too wet etc it really does help it really does you can see me there bleeding the liquid out the back of my brush so that's what I mean so this wider angle may give you an insight into how I pick up my colours and my acrylic so let me know if that's helpful <coughs> excuse me so I had relocated upstairs because trying to edit a video in a house full of people is a mare absolute mare you start doing it and then the husband comes in so the dogs follow so you can hear them and then they're eating and then he opens his can of beer and then my mother comes down it's a nightmare so there you go just getting that bead on there tap 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 around that cuticle So just keeping that finger pointed well down. If you keep that finger pointed down, that acrylic will flow where you need it to go and then you've only got to worry about the sides. Literally that. In that out your oh, proper gouge that then didn't I can you see that little bit of acrylic in my brush? Um, this is why I wipe my brush quite a bit because if you get one tiny little piece of acrylic left on that brush, it will attract acrylic. So it might look like I'm putting an awful lot of product on this nail. Bear in mind that you are seeing this zoomed in for a start so that bead isn't as big as you think it is. Um, and it's also because she's got quite a strong C curve so I'm having to round it over quite a lot. Um, just to get that strength where I need it. So once I'm happy, the clear cap isn't for strength in this in this instance. It is purely just to cap that colour. So I pull most of it off. So give my pot a little shake. So just tap, tap, tap across the top. And then pull it down. There we go. Lovely colour this one. It's it, it is yellow. It's very yellow, but you get this this green tinge to it, which I quite like. It's you know it's very neon, but um, beautiful colour. So 
put that on. That little black bottle there is dehydrated by the way. It's just left there from when I was um, dehydrating as I went. So yeah, I'm ready for Christmas. I'm just, you know, like everybody else, every nail tech out there, trying to minimize the cancellations, trying to plan ahead as best I can. Um, Christmas shopping starts for me next week. Um, majority of which will be ordered through Amazon because for two weeks of uh, December I'm working six days so I'm not going to have a chance to get out and get stuff so I will just order it and get it delivered. So Courtney has her nails done. I'm pretty sure it's three weeks. It might even be four but most of the time it's three weeks. Um, she's never once lost a nail she looks after them very very well so um never anything too much of a surprise she doesn't really even have any lifting so um quite lucky quite lucky she's relatively new i think this is her fourth visit so um yeah really pleased with how she looks after her nails it's always nice to nice to see So just building that colour up there, getting some some shaping going on. But I do most of it, to be fair, I think on these ones I actually did most of it with the colour. And I just capped just to stop me filing it away. Just building that colour up to where it's where I've got it. And then once I stop faffing, um, we'll be ready to put that clear cap on and I will then go and cap the ring finger. So we're going to be reaching the end of the video in a second. I didn't leave file and then I have left a video at the end. I have left a photo. Please do give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel and you haven't done already. Um, I'd, I'd love to have more viewers. And uh, please leave me some comments. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll be back very soon. Ta-ta for now.